we're winning the, 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 the culture war, so they want to induce us into violence. And they've said they're introducing legislation on the Democratic Party in the House and Senate to strip Trump of the Insurrection Act, uh, which George Herbert Walker Bush used during the L.A. riots. And they're saying, oh, we know when he gets elected, if he does, there's going to be huge uprisings, and he's a white supremacist, so we've got to drive him from office that way. So they're planning to torch the country when he's president-elect before he's in and try to intimidate everyone. So Black Lives Matter and Antifa and all of this uh, Hezbollah Hamas protests. And again, I'm not against, I'm, I'm not for the war. I don't like how far Israel's gone. But, but they're invoking that and hyping that up now as their third rail or their fifth column is the Islamicist to then burn the country down within weeks of him being president-elect and thinking they can terrorize the American people and the establishment into removing Trump somehow during that period. They've already pre-announced that. So I'm telling you now, eight months out, that's their plan. The necessity of exploring personal and collective identities amidst political tensions. It emphasizes the importance of understanding how individuals connect with larger groups, such as political factions or social movements, to combat feelings of isolation and meaninglessness. Within these groups, individual actions driven by anxiety can be unpredictable. The focus shifts to maintaining social harmony and the dangers of disruptive protests and political discord. Radical elements challenge societal norms, causing confusion and fear. Figures like Alex Jones are examined for their fear-based manipulation tactics, appealing particularly to conservative audiences. The article explores how fear is used across the political spectrum to rally support, suppress dissent, and create political consequences. It also discusses how fear of death, isolation, and meaninglessness shape political narratives. Critiques are made against dehumanizing language and polarization tactics that divide society and diminish empathy, leading to a loss of shared humanity and individual agency. The erosion of community solidarity and moral foundations is lamented, with reflections on how ideological commitments influence perceptions and behaviors. The article advocates for individual responsibility in choosing beliefs and actions, irrespective of ideological pressures, and criticizes ideologies that undermine social structures.